How to customize the Shopify Cray theme. Now, the Cray theme is a great eye-catching theme optimized for shopping on the go. And it is going to offer you quite a lot of different customization options, features, and so on. However, to get started, just click on try theme right here, which is then going to automatically add Crave onto your Shopify dashboard so that you can actually customize this theme essentially. So once this got added, you can then click on customize right here, which will open up the Shopify editor. Now, basically we are going to go through this from top to bottom. Basically, as far as the editor goes, um, you can basically select all of the different elements right here, and you can then edit all of these elements right here on the right. And basically, if you want to navigate between different kind of pages, you can do so by using this thing right here, where you can then actually go to the default product page right here and so on. But we are actually going to start with the home page. And then we can actually also uh, change the view of this. So if you want to see the mobile view or if you want to see a full screen view, we can actually do that by using this right here. And we can actually also change the language, uh, basically the, the market right here, but we don't need this actually. So to get started, we are going to edit the announcement bar right here. To do so, just double click this, and then this is going to open up the announcement bar right here on the left. Then we can see all of the different elements inside this announcement bar. As for this right here, we can then select this text right here, and we can then change this. So I guess I will just change this to, I don't know, minus 20% off uh, all purchases. And um, this is just a great way to basically um, tell the customers that there is a sale going on, a special offer and so on. And basically just to add an incentivize that people should actually buy something right now. And then you can actually also link this to a page. Um, now, basically to make this clickable, I would then just select the all products page right here. So that as you can see right now, uh, if I'm now actually going to click this, this is going to redirect me to the all products page. Perfect. So I'm going to head back to the homepage right now. And then right here, we do have our header. Now, as far as the header goes, as you can see, as of right now, we don't actually have our logo added onto this. And to change this, we actually do want to head over to the theme settings right here. The theme settings kind of work as the general base settings for all across your website. So if you're going to change things up right here, this is basically going to be reused for all across your website. And to change the logo, you will just have to go to logo right here, click on select image, and then upload your logo onto this. In my case, I'm just going to upload my logo right here. And then this actually got added onto this page. We can then actually also change the desktop logo width to basically make this larger. We can also make it, I guess, smaller if you would want to. But basically, most of the time, I would recommend you to just make the logo a size so that this is actually somewhat readable. And then we can actually also add our Fabicon. Now, the Fabicon basically just is the icon on top of all of the different tabs. So basically, I would highly recommend you to add this so that this is basically going to give a more professional feel. Uh, and then we can actually also go over all sorts of other things. So for example, colors right here, and um, basically you are going to have all sorts of different default color schemes, which you can use for completely free. And these work completely fine. However, if you actually do want to add your own custom colors onto this, you can add, uh, you can actually use tools like coolers or colors. I don't know how to pronounce them to basically generate all sorts of different color palettes for you for completely free. Um, so basically this is just a way to get some inspiration for you guys. And then we can also change the typography. Now I actually really like this uh, font right here. So I guess I'm just going to stick with the basic as for this one. And then you can also go over all sorts of other different kind of settings, which we're not going to do right now. By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. So let's head back to the sections right here and let's now continue with our header. Basically, as for the header position, we can change this right here. We can basically change this to top center. We can change this to middle center top left and basically this is just how the logo should be displayed. In my case, I'm just going to select middle left right here or I guess middle center actually. And then we can also change the menu right here. Basically these menu items can be changed by clicking on this icon right here, which will redirect you to the actual main, ma main menu settings, sorry. And then if you want to, you can add a new menu item. In this case, I'm just going to name this all products test. And then you can actually link this onto a page. In this case, I would then just 
select all products right here. I would then save this. And if we were now going to head back to our Shopify page, and if we were going to actually reload this, da 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 da, this should actually get updated. So as you can see right now, we do have our all products test tab right here. And then we can actually further customize this by adding an image onto this header right here. So in this case, you can then just either select an image right here from your own custom images, or if you don't have an image for this, you can also just explore all of the free images right here. And so I would then just put in clothing as I just will build up an example store for a clothing company. So I'm then just going to add this. I don't know, this is just an example. And then we can actually also change the text right here to do so head to the right and then you can change this to all sorts of different things that you want in my case i'm just going to name this shop or newest fits i don't know and then you can actually change the heading size in my case i guess i would just leave this at large so we'll change this to large and then we can also add a subheading so we released um tons of new clothing da 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 so basically right here on the subheading, you can put in all sorts of different things that you want to. And you can actually also then go over all of the other settings. If you want to, you can change the button label right here, the button link and so on. But as of right now, I won't actually do that. Let me actually rather show you how to add new sections onto your homepage. Because as of right now, we only have this um, header section right here and this feature product sections. But obviously most of the time you want to further customize this. And to do so, you will have to add a section right here. And you can then actually choose any of these sections. Um, now, basically all of these are going to be for different use cases. For example, a slideshow is great to display different kind of uh, basically Features or upsides of your product, a multi-column section, for example, let's actually add this, uh, is great for adding reviews. Um, so for example, let's say that right here, uh, we can edit this to, I don't know, John B. And then we can actually say that, I don't know, John B has put in, I don't know, a review basically. We can then actually also add a link label onto this and we can then add a link. Now, let me actually show you this because I think this is actually um, super nice. So uh, let's, for example, say that we are going to put in shop or joggers right here. And let's say that this review said, I don't know, that joggers are the best. Okay. I'm obviously just making things up and I make this super simple so that you guys understand. But if John B, for example, ha has put in a review, the joggers are best, obviously customers should then right away get the option to actually see all of your joggers so that they can actually buy your joggers essentially. So to do so, we will actually add a link label and we will then link this to our joggers tab right here. And we are then going to save this. And now this got added and we can then click on this. And this is basically going to redirect us to the jogger which we have set up in this case. All right, perfect. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.